Meet American-born Igbo man who designed and built a car called Ikenga GT in 1967. The story of David Gittins, a Brooklyn-born Igbo man, is one that speaks volumes of the contributions of the black men in the automobile industry. He was an artist and a designer and was an employee of Car and Driver magazine as a staff photographer from 1958 to 1964. After he got married in 1964, he and his wife moved to London. There he continued his career in photography and focused mainly on weddings and advertising. He would later advance his career and started to do transportation designing. When he started, he ventured into some of the most complex designs at the time. He had a number of proposed projects, of which were a gas-powered single-seat city car, an electric city car, a reliant-based three-wheeled car, a small car based on mini mock chases, and expandable six-wheeled vehicle, and finally his high-performance mid-engine grand touring car, which he later named the Ikenga GT. To achieve his goals, he bought a used chassis of the McLaren car model from Ken Shepard. The limited production of his Ikenga GT was also to be run by Shepard. When he got into the development phase, uh, he contracted it to Charles Williams of the William and Pritchard, which was a coach building company. To finance the project, he got money through Copley's Merchant Bank. The name Ikenga, which he chose for the car model, is of Igbo origin. The Ikenga Tondibo represents accomplishment, success, achievement, strength, power, and justice. It is an embodiment of noble spirit represented by a horn statue. David Gittens completed the first version of Ikenga JT in 1967, which he modeled MK1. He restyled the MK1 into MK2 the following year with a classic leather interior together with a complementary set of Gucci luggage. He also added some advanced lightning features to the new model. Gittin Sikenga GT started to draw the attention of the larger American community and also the international community. It was first put on display at the banking halls at Harrods during the Ailes Cut Motor Show in 1968. The car was seen by 30,000 people at the banking hall. One of the spectators offered $53,000 for Gittins to sell the prototype. Also, a Saudi prince commissioned a unique version of Ikenga GT. It was to be called Bed of Peace at the cost of $35,000. Gittins did not have the intention of producing his cars in enormous quantities. He planned for the Ikenga GT to be a limited model with a maximum of 100 or 150 cars which were to be priced at £9,000 or US dollars at $16,800 each. The promotion of the car kicked off in the United States of America and the United Kingdom and reached other parts of the world in no time. In April 1969, Car and Driver magazine featured the Ikenga GT on the cover of their magazine. In the summer of that same year, an American group offered Gittins to distribute the car in the U.S. 
A day after the company made the offer, the developer, Charles William, died suddenly. The death of Charles William was a big blow to the restyling of the Ikenga, which was then ongoing. The Ikenga MK2 was being restyled by a newer MK3. Gittins transferred the job to the Radford Coach Works for the completion of the restyling, which, with the assistance of Roger Nathan, among others. The new team were astounding with the restyling, and MK3 was ready by October of 1969. In the 1969, the car was sent to France, where it was put on display at the Paris Auto Show. Although before this, the car was featured in an episode of the BBC series, Tomorrow's World from France, the Ikenga GT was taken to Italy, where it won an innovation award at the Turin Auto Show. The following year, 1970, the car made an appearance at the Swedish International Motor Show in Stockholm. It is, however, very unfortunate that the car was recalled and seized by creditors, prompting Gittins to return to the United States. The car was then put on display at the Mans Motor Museum for a while and then later sold at an auction in 1988 and later in another auction in 2008. Sources believe that the Ikenga GT is currently somewhere in the Middle East. It would seem that the people with the big money had frustrated the works and ingenuity of Gittins. We hope that we can expand on this article and get more information as to why the Ikenga GT was pulled off the world stage and it in turn halted. Although the Ikenga GT was stopped, Giddens went ahead to produce a line of gyroplanes which he named Ikenga 530Z. Reports say that one of his aeroplanes are part of the History and Innovation Collection at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. This material on a Kinga GT was put together by Chuka Obiwuru, Ibo Ndine Soku. Thanks for watching Ibo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.